Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin charts together going through the really important resistance we are up against right now as we are speaking and the support level to the downside if we are going to continue to see a little dip during the day. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, I hope that you are doing very well and excited as I am for this technical analysis and what can only be described as another brilliant environment to be trading in. The opportunities are high, the volatility is big, and that makes us happy traders. So to begin with, let's zoom in here. Well, we're on the 15-minute chart. If you want to follow along, people like to follow along, mark out the same levels. So we're starting on the 15-minute chart. And I just want to, before we begin, remind you of this one. <laughs> Obviously tweeted out on Sunday night after I'd finished my Champions live stream. Remember this resistance line here as we go through the video. That is one to remember. Okay, but bringing it back, bringing it back. What obviously we were looking at yesterday. You, if you haven't watched yesterday's, you know, free public video, go watch it because we obviously were talking about the long setup off of the harmonic. We obviously come down to the low of our fibs. We come into the confluence, you know, and that, you know, that big support zone that we had, thirty-one to thirty-two thousand dollars, and you know, really big move up. And I think this one was. You know, it's kind of like, you know, I put this, put, like to put this stuff over on Twitter right now. And it's, uh, you know, four steps of the trade. Step number one, uh, make the harmonic trading plan. So it's it's recognizing. You have to think at the time, of course, now it looks all, all looks pretty easy. Now, but you have to think in the time, it does require a certain amount of, um, you know, I want to just say, you know, experience to, to recognize that this is likely to come up for, you know, a C or a lower high. And put in a higher low so you're not looking for a swing failure of this low overall of the harmonic you're looking to build a higher low obviously for a move to the upside so it's number step number one even you know come up with the idea that we're going to be putting in a harmonic here then step number two it's obviously find the entry trigger so we knew exactly the region that we were looking for and this is obviously from the twitch live stream we knew where we were looking for and you know so it's step number one make the plan step number two find the entry trigger step number three take the shot as we as we're going to refer to it you know take the trade eg you've planned for the trade when it comes to the entry do not get scared yeah do not get scared take the trade all right step number four obviously we see this <laughs> pump up really nicely to the upside um so it was it all comes down to at the end of the day making that plan and then trading the plan do not get scared do not trade off of twitter tweets from people you know just trade the charts and i truly think i've given you so much evidence that this is just truly the powerful way to trade and it you know so yeah you've got, got to just trust the technical analysis and trust the plans that i'm giving you at the end of the day and obviously we were looking up here then for the continuous you know continued move to the upside so step one two three and four all locked in and obviously we saw this pretty well very very big move to the upside from the actual low to high of this this is 30% in obviously just over one day. It's a massive move when we think about it. It absolutely really is a very, very big move to the upside. Okay, so this is all, all brilliant. Okay, so what do we have then? I obviously told you we're up against a resistance right now. Um, what I will do is I will hide the harmonic because this, in my opinion, is now finished. We can, we can hide this. And obviously, we can see that we have a resistance. And there's one thing that I want to remind you of before we cover this resistance. First thing I wanted to remind you of is, is what I was obviously talking about a few days ago now, and this was pump it to get them bullish and then dump it again. I want to remind you that I posted that in my group while we were actually at the low of the harmonic. So while we were at the low of the harmonic, I was saying to my group, you know, let's go for the pump. Obviously, I was saying in my Champions live stream that, you know, this, this level around $32,000 is obviously a long. You do not short down here. And so we wanted to see this pump because you had no trade other than longs at those lows. So we're thinking to ourselves down here, this needs, to, it doesn't need to, I suppose, but it's much preferable for us if we get a pump from here. But then we are going to be looking at resistance and, you know, essentially look for a move down again. So it's not just going to be hunky-dory, everybody's happy for, the, you know, the entirety of the, bull, you know, the, the cycle. And obviously I was reminding my team yesterday with the soon Obviously, we like to trade with the gifts, the memes. So we were obviously still preparing for this soon. And this is while we were making the bull flag here, just around, you know, that $38,000. In the end, we come up to, you know, that 
500 we got a bit of a bull flag and then a move to the upside and of course this was pretty funny okay so this was coinciding it's kind of funny but i will mention this briefly that elon musk actually tweeted on on this candle and what you have to remember is these tweets are kind of funny because you can trade off the tweet if you really want to but this at the end of the day was a, a bull flag into something that's just been going like this so i was pointing this out yesterday it's, it's actually um you know th th this this uptrend was actually just going into the higher lows and then higher highs, higher lows and higher highs and the, the local uptrend. So you can see each step of the way here if we put on a tool just to make this very obvious. Okay, you see here resistance. If we just take off the boring tool, we can see resistance into support here. If we mark it up again, you can see resistance into support here. Yeah, so you can see this again. And then you obviously you were going for, you know, the bull flag for another move to the upside. You attempt to go into resistance and support here, but in a, actually a lower high this time for a lower low. So you've got a bit of a trend change on the 15 minute, but you can see like each attempt is, you know, back testing old resistance and support. And so Elon, you know, at the end of the day is, is tweeting when things are looking, you know, you were, you were expecting this to break up anyway. Let's, let's be totally honest. You had to imagine this was going to break up. There was no evidence or no data to suggest otherwise. So first of all, if you were trading the charts, you were, you know, expecting another move to the upside. Obviously coming up, you know, you really wanted to see either two things, either swing failure pattern of C, which obviously never happens. You didn't get out of that as you just go straight through it. And so the last place that you look too short is this top of the pitchfork here. Okay. Uh, obviously this is the same pitchfork that I done on Sunday's live stream that I gave massive emphasis to of again this is for the champion members but this is the print screen that I posted on Twitter after that ended on the 23rd of May at 10 p.m this is the pitchfork resistance obviously I gave it very clear in the champions group but hey for everybody else you, you know you saw the picture and obviously we we're coming up to that and we we're ready and waiting and then the time has come why has the time come well if you see here what happened we were right into that pitchfork. So this is the thing, prepared, waiting for the move. We had the plan not only to long the lows, but we then would have a plan for a short. And this is obviously at the middle of that pitchfork. So you can start to see now how it comes down to, you know, if you are trading off of the tweets, you have to remember you are getting into your longs here. You know, you're going to be entering your longs actually at resistance by the time you've had the notification of the tweet and all this. And it's just it's just a suicidal way of trading. If you try and do this, you you are going to lose money. And it's just it's just nonsensical and a brainless way to trade. The technical analysis that I've done here is is way in advance knowing that's the resistance. And you have to remember this is then getting in on a 30% move to the upside. And then Bam, we know we're at resistance. We know what we're going to do. And then obviously we, we <laughs> pump it to get him bullish, then dump it again. The time has come. Dump it. He bought times 100 short. Got to love the short. People, you know, just so you know, <laughs> you know it's pretty obvious that we were <laughs> doing it. And this literally was the exact high of the move, recognizing it two days in advance to executing when it happens and like i said here that was pretty epic you have to admit during full fomo and everybody switching bullish to have the confidence to trust in the technical analysis yeah so you have to have had that confidence to trust in the technical analysis confidence to trust in cc pool levels when do we let you down and it all comes down to that technical analysis having the plan each step of the way you know and then just having the confidence, you know, you obviously have to have a layer of confidence to do this as well, because you have to remember this is happening right during the pump and somebody has to step in front of it, you know, and I personally was happy. And um, yeah, that's how you time the high literally to the dollar. And if we add this back on now, if we zoom out slightly, what you will see is this is a lovely, lovely, lovely pitchfork, which has prior, you know, been a very nice resistance, 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 and again, resistance, 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 and again, resistance yesterday to the absolute wick, retest to the absolute wick, down again, and another lower high. So what can we see here on the local term time frame? then? I think I've pretty much emphasized exactly how we timed the high of this, but we obviously have a slight descending triangle type structure again this doesn't have to look perfect we can just acknowledge we're putting in a bit of a base here and a you know lower highs going into this so again this doesn't have to be picture perfect what we can say is you know if we are breaking to the downside well let's just do a good old measured move target <laughs> if we are breaking to the downside here we could be looking towards 
63 yeah i think we'll get support a bit higher than that uh, i've actually been doing a bit of my own technical analysis i think we're gonna we, we got an intraday support basically around 36,500. Okay, and one of the supports that you're up against, you know, pretty close to is 37, 37, 500. So it's pretty easy to remember because they're $500 increments. $37,500, okay, and then $36,500. So those are your two, like, levels to the, to the downside um, that you can be, like, looking at intraday again. These are intraday levels. It's not a higher term time frame video today. Um, so they're your intraday levels for the for the downside, really, I think. And if you're wondering where I really get this from, it's it's... It's basically looking at the volume and where you've actually seen support coming in here. So, yes, it's really around 37,500 first support, to be honest with you. Um, but, yeah, obviously you have to think, that is, is this just going to break up again? Well, if that's the case, we need to now break these lower highs. And, you know, I'm comfortable. I've, personally, I've hit my take profit. When I had a comment from yesterday, you have to remember this, by the way, from the high to the low here is five coming on 6% to the downside. You know, pretty big move. Um, but, but somebody questioned me yesterday, uh, saying, um, you know, I can't remember the exact words, but it was something like, oh, 5% move. How are you making any money off of this? Like, for, first of all, like that's, kind of, you know, it's kind of funny, but I guess if you're trading with like, you know, a hundred dollars, then 5% move, you might be like, oh, you know, it's, it's hardly worth it. But when you're trading with millions of dollars, you have to remember 5% move is, is, <laughs> a very big move. So, um, yeah, 5% moves, uh, you know. Yeah, you know, you have to remember, of course, capital comes into it at the end of the day. But, you know, the, I think that's a big move. Of course, this is bigger, but nevertheless, 5% pullback, you know, money to be made. So what we're looking at here then on a on an intraday basis, sorry, out of 10 minutes, we'll try and wrap it up. Uh, what we're looking at here on an intraday basis of potential descending triangle, if we break to the downside, we've still got 37,500 as our first support. You could obviously look for the swing failure pattern of this. If there's no swing failure pattern, again, we do not preset for the swing failure patterns. We, we really look for the reaction, e.g. weight. Um, so if there's no swing failure, then I think, personally, I'd be looking back down then towards that 36,500, you know, give or take $100 either side, but around 36,500. Well, if we lose this, then well, the thing's probably going to drop like a bit of a lead balloon. So, but nevertheless, before we start getting too bearish, we have to remember we have got a massive rise here. It did come off of high term time frame support and thirty two thousand dollars. It's high term time frame support. So we've seen a massive bounce off of high time frame support, um, and now we're just acknowledging, okay, we're at resistance. So what do you do at resistance? You you take a short. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's it's not like we are ultra bearish, ultra bullish. We are honestly just trading the charts it's it's doing the technical analysis it's making those plans and you know it's, it's executing it really is so that's how we were able to time the low of this and you know people are going to not really believe this i think at some point because it seems a little seems almost too good to be true i really think so but not only timing the low of this move off of the um harmonic it's then <laughs> To be honest with you, you're actually timing the exact high of the move again. So um, you can see people in here, you know, people were aware of it. It wasn't just me tweeting about it or not tweeting, posting in the group about this. You know, everybody in the group is aware of it because I literally gave it out on the Sunday's Champions live stream. So people are aware of this in the group. People are trading it in the group. We knew to execute the order as we come up to the high. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it seems too good to be true, but it, it's true and it's kind of funny. Um, so, yeah. I'll wrap up by saying this, I think. So you question me now, Daniel, are you really bearish? My answer is no, I'm not really bearish. But then you question me, Daniel, are you really bullish? I say no. I say I trade this level to level. Yeah, you give me a technical level or I create my own levels at the end of the day. So, you know, I give myself a technical level via the levels of confluence that I've seen on the chart. And I know myself, I don't care if Elon Musk is tweeting out, this is the level to short, yeah? And we saw a 5% five, 5% moved to the downside, hit take profit one, got stop loss at break even now. So it's like, hey, you know, you just got to think about this. At the end of the day, it really does emphasize the words here. It is pretty good when you think about it during everybody switching bullish to have confidence and trust in that technical analysis. Because if you did not trust in the technical analysis and you were trading off of Twitter tweets by Elon Musk, you've actually bought the high and you've instantly got wrecked. Whereas if you trust in the technical analysis, hey, you actually made money on the move down. So, you know, I'm not here to convince anybody. I'm not here to brag. I'm just here to literally show you the power of the technical analysis. Yeah. And it, 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 I, I hope this is like inspirational almost or, or just at the end of the day, showing you what's actually possible in this market that you can time 
lows to the absolute dollar and highs to the absolute dollar. Is this, you know, realistic for everybody? Of course not. But hey, if you've got the experience, if you know what you're doing, you know what to wait for, you know what to look out for, then you know. It's not yet during the bull flag, but it is time when you hit resistance. Does this mean we're going to dump? No, of course not. We could have put in our low here, for example, and now it's it's back up. How do we start to see this come, become more clear? Well, of course, if we start to break these lower highs, if we break through the middle of the pitchfork, of course, this increases the probabilities that we're pushing up to the next resistance, which we all know is around $43,000. And do I think $43,000 is a bigger resistance? Well, the, well, the answer is yes, of course I do. <laughs> you know, I, I do think 43 k is, is a bigger resistance than we got off the middle of the pitchfork to be honest with you but you know i recognize this is a good this is a good trade um if we push up higher i i i, I really i'm absolutely fine with that and i know my next level to the upside is a, it's around again this is a region but around 43 44 thousand dollars to the upside that's my next region where i'm interested in shorts so you know at the end of the day um I'll say this before we end. I'm so sorry that the video is 16 minutes. I, I don't really like doing the long videos, but, um, you know, some people actually really like them. So <laughs> I won't apologize too much, but I want to say this. Um, honestly, if you're watching this, look into my eyes and I will tell you this one final time. The only way you cannot be scared, the only way you can sleep peacefully at night the only way that you can actually enjoy trading this market is by making your trading plans, doing your technical analysis. And then it it's almost like you, you, you just have a different, you just view the market in a different way. Instead of like following all these random things, instead of waiting for tweets, you can just, you can sort of truly understand how this is just, it's just crazy. And, you know, I'm not saying that we win every single trade. Of course, that's unrealistic. But we can be aiming for actually very high win rates. You know, we, I'm, I'm personally saying well, I think it's achievable to achieve win rates such as 85% plus. So you're taking a lot of trades, but you're you're winning by far the vast majority. Of course, not every single trade is winning here, but we're winning by far the majority. And the winners that we're taking are so much bigger than the losers. It's, you know, but how do you get to this? You, you really have to get to this level by putting in some time and effort. You know, you see me today talking you through these charts, taking these trades. But it's not like I get, I done this overnight. No, I've been doing this for many, many, many years. And, it, you know, of course, I've gone through wins. I've gone through many, 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 many losses, you know. And you come out of this a champion. You know, you come out of this a better better player. Uh, a, a, a quote maybe to end with. Oh, man, how, how many times am I going to say one thing to end? Quote to end with. Oh, man, what was that? It was a brilliant quote from somebody the other day in the group. And it was like... You know, a champion is formed not by the winners they take, but the losses and, you know, their, their, their lowest moments and how they recover and come back from that. Yeah, it's it's all about the recovery and how they come back. You know, the champion is not defined by their winners at the end of the day or their losers. It's, it's defined by the comebacks. How, you know, it's annoying. I can't remember the exact quote because it was a brilliant one. It's kind of like this. Yeah, obviously what we're talking about here, competing at the highest level is not about winning. It's about the preparation, courage, understanding and nurturing excuse my english your people and heart winning is the result while some were depressed after the recent crash champions were already looking for the next trading setup so this is what we mean instead of getting like depressed at the lows if you lost money or whatever instead of thinking oh it's over i'm liquidated what am i going to do in my life how am i going to explain this to my family etc 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 of course these are pretty big things to deal with but at the end of the day hey, if you're a trader, if you're a champion, you, you're already looking at the next trading setup. It's like, hey, this trade's done. Let's go on to the next one. We knew what we wanted. We got it. We executed, you know, fin, finito, hecho. That's me done for the video. I hope that I've given you the technicals that I'm trading from, which is right now the middle of this pitchfork. Um, so there's that. I've given you the levels to the downside that I'm looking at right now. And my next level really is $37,500, which is obviously based off of the volume. Um, if we break this $36,500, and if we break to the upside here and through the middle of the pitchfork, well, yeah, I'm, I'm looking, I per, you know, personally like to see this push up to around thirty-three, thirty-four. Could we short squeeze straight through? Of course we could. And that's why we do not preset. I have nothing preset there, but I will react based off of the reaction. Um, Last thing <laughs> to end. This is the last thing. Now I have got 
a a contenders and champions live stream tonight where i'm going to it's just a bonus live stream i'm going to go through an extra bonus live stream talk through actually the altcoins uh and bitcoin and do some question and answers and you know, if that sounds interesting to you that's a, like an extra bonus live stream that i'm going to do today uh later on today so if that sounds interesting to you if you wanted to see this pitchfork live in the time before it happens um you know days in advance calling where i think the eye will be that was obviously in the champions live stream on sunday and for everybody else uh i guess i'll see you soon really um thank you ever so much i i hope i've offered you some insights uh technicals and maybe some you know Showing the power of technical analysis. I, I, I ramble on. And, and for that, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to wrap, wrap this up with the legal disclaimer, of course. Not financial advice. All we're talking you through here, even at the end of the day, is just um, entertainment, educational video only. It's all about the education here. We're not giving you trading advice or legal advice or any sort of advice in that regard. Understand the legal disclaimer. Smash the like button. And yes, you did hit 1,500 likes on the last video. I will upload the um <clears throat> champions game theory i'll probably schedule this for friday so you can watch that on friday look forward to it learn something from it and uh yeah thank you ever so much have a brilliant day and i'll see you later if you want to join in on the members live stream cheers thank you and goodbye